Bald is beautiful, but it's not for everyone. Hair loss is a serious issue that has left many of my clients very frustrated. Here are a few statistics on how it's affecting women and just how prevalent it is in today's society. Thinning hair and hair loss is a serious problem worldwide. One in two women will experience excess hair shedding or subclinical hair loss at some point in their life, and the incidences are increasing. New research suggests that over 6 million women suffer from excess shedding and thinning in the United Kingdom. 54% of people said that their hair loss makes them feel self-conscious, 42% said that it made them feel less attractive, while 29% said it made them feel emotional. 48% believe that hair loss is due to stress. 41% of people over 55 have suffered with hair loss, and 69% of them have not used any sort of treatment to help with their thinning hair. Unlike hair loss in men, female hair loss is commonly seen at any age and may not have the obvious hereditary association and also may not occur in a recognizable female pattern alopecia or diffuse thinning over the top of the scalp. So let's start by exploring the hair growth cycle and causes of hair loss. The hair follicle is an anatomical structure which evolved to produce and extrude a hair shaft. Human hair growth is a continuous cyclic pattern of growth and rest, known as the hair growth cycle. On average, we lose 50 to 100 telogen hairs a day. And there are three phases of the hair growth cycle. The first is the antigen phase, which is the growth phase of two to eight years, catagen, which is the degradation, or two to four weeks long, and finally telogen, which is the resting phase, and our hair is in about 10% in that phase. The etiology of hair loss includes genetics, hormones, health and diet, stress, prescription drugs, as well as hair styling products. 99% of all the products that are marketed in the hair loss treatment industry are completely ineffective for the majority of those who use them. So there's been a secret in the modeling world for a long time, and that's a supplement called Viviscal. It's clinically proven 100% drug-free supplement specifically developed to grow hair thicker, fuller, and healthier, and nourish hair from within, thanks to these unique properties of the Immunomar C. The key active ingredients in Viviscal include this Aminomar C marine complex, which provides essential proteins necessary to nourish thinning hair and encourage the growth of existing hair. Also in the supplement are biotin, which is a vitamin B7 that helps the body metabolize carbohydrates, fats, and amino acids, which are important in the building blocks of protein, an essential nutrient for the growth of healthy hair. So now let's talk about the trial that was performed by Stephen Associates, and it's actually the largest trial of a drug-free supplement where 96 patients were enrolled in this study. This was a double-blind, placebo-controlled clinical study evaluating the effects of Viviscal oral supplement when used by females with self-perceived thinning hair. It resulted in a 7.4% increase in the diameter of vellus hairs after six months, with a 1.6% decrease observed in the placebo group for the same period of time. There was also an 18.3% reduction in hair shedding after three months. I recently presented a clinical trial on Viviscal that I published in the Journal of Clinical and Aesthetic Dermatology. My study was on 15 patients, 10 were on the active and five on the placebo. And the results of the daily administration of Viviscal significantly increased hair growth after 90 and 180 days. Amazingly, at three months, we saw significant improvement, statistically significant, with an increase in hair growth with a mean of 271 to begin with, up to 571 at 90 days, which is more than double the hair growth of terminal hairs, as well as up to 609 at 180 days in the studied area. We did not see any change in the vellus hair, and in patients on placebo, there was no improvement. In addition to the objective measurement of increased hair growth, significantly more women treated with a study supplement reported perceived improvements in overall hair volume, hair shine, as well as thickness and scalp coverage as early as three months. We even had twins in the study, one on active and one on placebo, and at the end of the study you could tell which one was on which. And the one that was on the placebo said, I need to get some of the supplement and look as good as my sister does. We were extremely excited by these results, and in our practice today, our patients love the product. We have very happy patients with before and after pictures that we take for them at the three and six months, and they just see amazing results. We are very, very excited about this product.